Okay, welcome back everybody to another episode of Evan Better Presents. So, we had a little bit of a problem last episode with the uh, AE network. I tried to hook up a deep storage unit to a fluid storage bus and it crashed my AE network. Luckily, all I had to do was pick up the controller terminal and put it back down and everything reset itself just fine. We didn't lose any storage, we didn't lose any products, we didn't lose any items. Uh, the one downside was that as the AE network shut off, our automatic cooling system on our reactors cut out and was not able to uh, do its job. Thank God for the... Um, thermal monitors because with our with our logic system here it shut the reactor down when it was overheated so uh, as does happen with this when I ever sh whenever I shut the reactor down there is a chance that the um, or I, I should say when the reactor shuts down improperly there is a chance that when I shut it off it won't have done its job properly and when I turn it back on oh okay you see that you know what that was? See that? That is that is the reactor not set up properly inside anymore. Because of the AE network shutting off, some of the components are probably in the wrong spots now. So watch, this will do the same one, the same thing. Boom. Instantly overheats, the reactor automatically shuts off. Boom. Instantly overheats. You can see the logic at work. This is the fail-safe device that I built into this reactor. So we have to go inside the reactor chambers. Turn off. We'll turn these off right now. We have to go back inside the reactor chambers, though, and we have to go and clean out the broken components, which means we're going to be handling radio radioactive items. So, oh, stupid door. We need our radiation suit, don't we? Oh, some of you might be, uh, if I didn't already mention this, I changed the particle effects and the brightness when I was trying to get rid of that stupid radiation effect. So that's why it looks a little different down here now. This is just behind our industrial information panels. This is just the switch. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing really back here. Oh, I finally finished this. Yep. And our breeder reactor chamber, too. I totally forgot about that. Jesus, I'm freaking dense. I gotta get the breeder reactor built, but I got the chamber finished at least. So right now, yeah, we can look inside here, and, well, that's not good. Look at that. This is why this thing was overheating. Look, here's the pattern should be. That should be an LZH condensator. Sh shit. I thought I turned that off. All right. So we got to just disconnect the reactor for a second. We just do that. Okay, we'll take that out. We want that to become an LZH condensator. So if we hook the reactor back up, that should become an LZH condensator, as should whatever components were here. They've melted away. I think they were advanced heat exchangers. So we'll just take all this uranium out, and we'll put the advanced heat exchangers back in. But that's the fail-safe side of this system, guys, is that if I didn't have that thermal monitor, this thing would blow up. I have no signal? That's not possible. That's impossible. There's a wireless transceiver right down here. What the fuck? So clearly some parts of our AE network are not back to normal. Hopefully this is not a permanent problem. Fuck. Hmm.
This is not good. Let's just charge it back up. Maybe it's broken somehow. Shit. Big effing shit. Damn it. All right, one problem at a time here, folks. One problem at a freaking time. How's that coming along? Three left. All right, so we need... We need a couple of these. Our wireless network is broken. Should have never hooked up that fluid thing. All right, so I'm going to have to figure out how to refix my uh, wireless network, but in the meantime, we need to fix the reactor. And we need more of these. Hopefully, I have the ingredients still in the system, and I don't. I'm missing regular heat exchangers. I'm going to need a lot of those, I'm sure. Okay, there's one. What am I missing now? Lapis lazuli plates and a compressor. Oh, come on. I hate you. I hate you so much. All right, so now we got to go up. we got to go to lapis lazuli. We're going to put some lapis lazuli dust in a compressor, which I don't even think I have any more dust. Just one thing after another. Sorry about the choppiness. I'm currently rendering a video in the background. Okay, uh, you can see I got the uh, some of the drives back in. But uh, I think maybe I've got a little bit too much lava in my system now. I can probably hold back on the lava for the next um, while. Just, just thinking. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Anyway, um... Lapis compressor, lapis, lapis compressor. I thought I'd made one of these. I guess I hadn't. One of these is a compressor. Here we are. Damn it, that is a problem. I really rely on my wireless terminal a lot. That is a big fucking problem. I may have to build a new one. It's not good news. They're not hard to build, though. Let's try that. It's not going to be easy to make that. Shit. I could make two conversion matrices? What the effing F in the F? Why do I have no more flux dust? I should have shit tons of flux dust. It's being used to make those storage cells, that's why. All right. Thank you. Put the new one there and the old one there. No power. Still in my radiation suit. Oh, it's always one thing after another. This is like a lot of my time is spent just doing this kind of dumb shit. Luckily, my AE network has a nice backup power supply. 
in the form of this steam generating turbine. So right now she's running about 80% because we have the solar panels uh, also providing for the system. Not linked. Now how does that work again? Oh right, I gotta put it... Oh that's why! Duh! That's why. I disconnected the controller. I forgot about this step. I disconnected the controller so the wireless remote's not going to recognize the controller anymore. It was probably saying that too. I'm probably just too stupid to have noticed. No signal. Yeah, because it's not linked with this access terminal. Or this can... Yeah, you take this, you put it in here. Boom, it's now linked. I'll take this one, I'll put it in here. Now it's linked. So I'm going to go, boom, access. And the other one, access. Okay, duh. Stupid me. I forgot about that. Forgot about that step. Sorry. Sorry, boys and girls. Um, right, I was building advanced heat exchangers. I need one more to be able to f get the first reactor fixed, and I'm going to need more than that, I'm sure. So, Oh, right, I needed lapis. <laughs> Jesus! Lap. Lapis dust. I've got an ass ton of lapis dust. So let's take out 64 of that. I don't think I have a machine to make this at the moment, but I will build one at some point soon. So, boom, stick it in there. Oh, God damn it. Overclockers. Boom, faster. Suck it out. Why is that not being exported? Is it a precision export bus? Oh, I think it's designed to automatically feed into the next machine. Okay. But the next machine's not configured to use it that way. Mixed metal ingots. Yeah. Let's just pull a few more out. I wish there was a wireless version of the crafting monitor. That would be freaking seriously epic. Alright, so let's make another one of these sons of bitches. Right. I gotta put these in the system. Alright, so that's enough to fix the first reactor. I need at least four more. I don't have enough lapis plates. I'll let the lapis machine do its thing in the meantime. Let's go fix the first reactor. Because that's the whole purpose of this episode, was to fix those reactors. And then, uh... I'm really sorry about the choppiness. I won't record another video when I'm rendering. I thought I, would, I, thought I could get away with it. But it's actually kind of annoying, isn't it? I'm sorry. Don't hate me, okay? I love you. And I'll show you the breeder reactor chamber. I haven't built a breeder reactor yet because I still don't know exactly how to build a breeder reactor. I have to do research on that. I haven't had a chance to do that just yet. It's funny how the heat transfers out to this bottom cor to these corners. Let's just make sure everything is right. We need a LZH condensator, which I think I have extras in the system. Duh. Of course I do. So let's stick a LZH condensator there. And this reactor is ready to go. Here's our breeder reactor chamber. This is a three-thick wall between the two reactor chambers. And everything else is the same. I believe the ceiling at, at the moment is only one thick. I have to put the second layer of the ceiling on, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. Do not quote me. And this will be where the second breeder reactor will go if I make such a thing, or a third regular reactor will go. I don't really need another reactor at the moment. So, same exact problem. It ate out the uh, components that were in the corners. Oh, shit, I gotta disconnect this thing as well. I 
I may actually have to put those in the system manually. I think there's going to be a distinction. Yeah, there is. Balls. All right, that's a problem for another day. Um, for right now, let's just get four more advanced heat exchangers. Oh, I don't have the lapis. Ah, punch me in the face. How is everything else in the reactor chamber? That's in the wrong spot. I need an LZH condensator to fill that gap there. Fine, fine, fine. Can I get some of these? I think I can actually make these. I've got those. One, two. I got one of those. One, two, three. I need one more. That That's a piss off, that is. All right, fine. Everything else is fine in here. I just need to make one more of these advanced heat exchangers, and I can put the system back together. Oh, I got to go connect that ME cable back up. I forgot that. Still got the issue with the bats. I don't know if we'll ever be able to get rid of the bat problem. But, uh, whatever. It is what it is. Bats are bats. And it's kind of cool. It's like I'm Batman living in the bat cave. Don't think for a second that you wouldn't want to be Batman. Because you're a filthy liar if you say you don't want to be Batman. So this reactor should be good to go. We'll turn it back on. And three heat. And she's working. Three hours, 45 minutes left on those particular sets of cells before I'll have to power it down. Uh, this still has two hours remaining on it, but it's not actually going to be working right because we need to get that other lapis plate. Again, sorry about the lag. That is really annoying. Steam tank still full. That's good to see. Let's take a peek in the old crafting monitor. We've got, ooh, almost only one left to make. And that is totally being held up by these back here, these furnaces, as they make advanced processors and quartz dust. And I think this one makes bricks. Yeah. Where's that compressor? There we are. And here's the last one we need. Let's throw that back in the system. Don't need that bucket of lava. All right. So the reactors are now back. They're going to be back up to uh, full power. I'll get that one back out. The next important thing that I have to do is build that breeder reactor. Got to figure out, uh, I got to do some research into breeder reactors, and I'm probably going to look at uh, more of, come on, open up, more of Captain Jack and the Minecrafter stuff. They seem to make breeder reactors pretty efficiently um, and pretty advanced, so that's probably where I'll be going for my source of information. Definitely check out those Minecraft cra Minecraft er, tutorials. They're very good, though I got to say, they never came up with a new reactor tutorial on how to apply uh, applied energistics to it in experimental. I did, but whatever. <laughs> hey, if I can't gloat every once in a while about my accomplishments, what can I do? Alright, let's hook this back up. Everything seems like it's good. Make sure there's no disconnected cables. Did I... Is this switch in the on state? It is. Everything seems like it's good. All right, we're done. We'll go power on this reactor again. And we should be laughing.
All conditions are met. 1,040. Two heat a tick. Three. Shouldn't go much higher than four, I don't think. Or maybe this is the one that goes up to eight. I don't remember. Nope. Four and four. That's perfect. And that's going back up as well. Fantastic. Yeah, we've got a solid 9.1 thousand RF coming out of this reactor setup. Exactly the way I wanted it. Seventy five thousand lapis left in the system. And hazard capacitor bank storage. It's going up. Machine buffer's good. Perfection. All right. Everything's good. Let's um let's go back to the end. Or right, let's go back to the nether. <sighs> All right. Ha! Ah, I got you, door. These fucking doors, man. Drive me nuts. Let's make sure I have no radiation causing shit on me, because it'll kill me. It's not very fun to die that way. I have a feeling it's incredibly painful to die of radiation poisoning. I never want to find out. So we've got an ass ton of, uh, of uranium still in the system. The only thing we're missing is the tiny piles of uranium. That's kind of a broken system in this, is that you need tiny piles of uranium to make this enriched nuclear uranium fuel, and you can't do that. You can't make that, um, the tiny piles. There's nothing that makes tiny piles of uranium, nothing. That's slightly broken. Whoops. Do not have the right chest piece on. That looks pretty boss, though. Oh, that's better. All right. So let's go take a peek at the quarry. Make sure it's still uh, chugging along. We don't want a broken quarry, right? So... And that can happen. No, everything seems like it's working. Oh, these are um, compactor transport pipes. They're, they're, they're added in by additional buildcraft objects, as you can see there. And what they do, when you apply a redstone signal to them, is they grab stuff that travels through the pipe system. As you can see here, you can see, kind of see the stone is disappearing. And then all of a sudden it shows up in a big blob. The stone's a good example. Watch the stone. See, there's no stone, no stone, no stone making it past here. And then all of a sudden, there'll be a big blob of stone. You'll see it in a second. See? There you go. So what this does is this takes items, and it stacks them. So similar items pass them through the pipe, like stone, for example. Don't, they don't make it through. They get put into an internal buffer in the pipe, and then they get sent through at, in stacks of 16. Because these pipes pump in stacks... You can see that, look at that, 38, boom. It's all going in stacks, 18, you see that? Stacks of 16 is what it, what it does. So the, the reason why this I added these two is because they're a more efficient way of being able to move stuff through this pipe. Instead of it being individual items, it actually will compact it down to stacks of stuff. Stacks of stuff go into the buffer chest, and they get pumped out because these pipes are better at pulling stacks. So that's what I've done there. Let's go see how far down we are. Level 47, maybe 46. All right, so we're at level 47-ish. That's good. And we'll take a quick trip back to the nether. Wherever the hell that entrance is.
Again, I apologize for the lag. <laughs> it's pissing me off too. I want to show you the endothermic pump in action. That was the whole purpose of the previous episode, to show you just what it does. I never really got a chance to, because our system was full up. Hopefully it hasn't... Okay, if you remember correctly... Holy shit, how far did it go? Oh, uh, you can see just how fast this goddamn thing works. In fact, I think it's finished. Yep. Okay, so in the time it took us to fix the reactor, this thing has already finished pumping out an entire lava lake that it was assigned to. That, my friends, is the endothermic pump by Extra Utilities. Um, superior in every imaginable way to a build craft pump. Speed reducing of lag. Everything about this is frickin' superior. Let's just take a look at the map. You can see here the kind of thing I've done to this. Uh, the black on the map is what I have not uncovered, or what is solid walls like this here. The gray is what I've replaced with, I've already pumped out with the endothermic pump. And the orange is of course lava. So up there in the top left corner is where I'm gonna be going next. But uh, yeah, you can see how just just how efficient these things are. They're heads and tails above a regular pump, and they've got a huge reach. I mean, look that that reached all the way to hell over there somewhere. Now I'm thinking about setting this one up. Whoop, set myself on fire. I'm thinking about setting one up right here, because I'm curious as to what'll happen, because this is a flowing lava field at a lower level. So if I set one up right... I gotta be careful not to fucking burn the thing. Here's what's going to happen when I do this. I don't think this thing can burn. Because it's kind of meant to be in a lava field. But things like these pipes can burn. So i got to be careful with that. Or not. Maybe they don't. I just kind of want to show you guys how this thing works. So I'll set up one here and see what happens. And I'll set up another one right here. This way, you guys will at least be able to see how this works. Oh, it doesn't even need the power conduit. It worked automatically. But that's how this works. You can see that? Look at that. Do you see how fast that works? It doesn't even need the power conduit. So one tesseract set up properly, and one endothermatic pump, and that's what she does. And now you can see what this thing's doing over here. As the as the lava recedes, it's pumped out every source block of lava that was underneath this set of, set of lava. And you can see just how fast it works. Look, it's already gone. That pump there is already over here. In case you were curious as to what what this is what what is going on here. So look, look, it's still going. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's already replaced this pump's system. Like that pump right there, it doesn't even need to be connected to the lava. Like the lava doesn't, as long as it's on the same plane. Look, see, look at that thing go. That pump is way the hell over here, and yet it's able to pump lava on the other side of this island because the lava is at the same, um, the the same uh, directional like point.
I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. My specken is not good. But do you see how much better these are? And they're not overly difficult to make. And then look. Boom, you got a nice source of cobblestone. Look at it go. There's no stopping it. It just keeps going. So we'll put another one down right here to get this next layer of lava. Boom. That's all it takes. I thought you had to put the conduit connecting to it. You don't even need to do that. That's all she takes. As long as you have your tesseract set up properly, sending fluid, receiving energy, this is all you need to do. Look how fast that works. No wonder the system bogged down. And it's about to cut off the pump. And it's now cut off the pump. So the pump has now become completely useless. But that, my friends, is the advantage. Regular pumps can't, can't hold a candle to these things. Okay, regular pumps are shit compared to these things. They're easy to work with. They don't require any kind of trouble. Like, they're not hard to work with at all. They're so easy. As long as you put it one layer above the lava, it does its job. What am I... Oh, it hurt. And look at that. Instantly working. Yeah. This is why I love these things. They're so superior in every goddamn possible way. In every possible way, they're better. And I'll put one right here and we'll see what happens. I'm curious if it even needs to be above the lava. Let's see. If it's on the right plane. Let's see what happens if it's just on the right plane. Okay, so that didn't work. Worth testing. See how fast this thing... Like, it's just... I love these things. What's not to love? They're so freaking efficient. Now this... I wish I had known about this. Like, this is so much better in every conceivable possible way over a regular pump. Look at it go. Look at it go. It's going to suck all the lava up. It's not even close to this... to the thing anymore. But it's on the right plane, and that's all it takes. Look, it's, this one's already gotten all the lava that was on this plane. So guys, I can't I can't talk about it, these things enough. I, I'm going to shut up because I'm going to repeat myself some more. I know how, how much you hate me repeating myself. But anyway, yep, that is the endo endothermatic pump. I highly recommend you guys using it. All right. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode of Better Presents.